Hello, this is Mike. No stress, Mike.com. Um, I want to, <laughs> it's just, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a simple minded kind of guy. And uh, one of the things, uh, I'm, I'm up here in northern Kansas uh, with a friend. And uh, uh, the, um, I'm introduced mainly to workers, uh, to the people. We're, we're, they're remodeling this place. Where is it? Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, there's, there's the, the garage out there and the house. They're remodeling. So I'm house sitting. And um, uh, I'm. I'm inter I'm just introduced as my friend, and then they, they say who I am, and it's it's funny because they uh, they um, and I use I'm the same way I act the same all the time I use the same tactics all the time uh, what they say uh, kill someone with kindness that's what I do. I'm real easy to get along with. Uh, I try to get along with, with others. I really go out of my way. The ones that are really hard to get along with, I just don't hang around now that, that much. But uh, what's funny is they, it's, it's funny to be around people. I mean, everybody here, everybody here, they look at me as some nice old guy and uh, uh, I, I, that's that's something that <laughs> never happened to me uh, uh, man I've never been treated like that uh, I say when I've owned my businesses uh, nobody ever said you know He's just plain old nice guy, you know, pushover kind of guy, you know. Uh, 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 and uh, when I travel, it's the same thing. They, nobody, uh, they, they see me as a nice guy, but they never look at that niceness as a weakness. And, uh, uh, I, well, that's one reason. Why, remember, I, I got uh, pickpocketed in Mexico City, and that's what it was on the subway. They say, look, he's just a, some nice old man, so then we'll take advantage of him. So that's what I'm saying. It's, this is something that, is, that I've never been faced with uh, down in Mexico City and then here. I say, what, six weeks? I've been here six weeks now. And uh, it's been, that's what they treat me some uh, nice, nice old guy, you know, so, uh, and it's funny because when I travel, I'm around some of the toughest people in that country. Uh, wherever I go, uh, it's just, I get around these people. I mean, one way or the other. And, uh, None, none of us <laughs> look at each other. Well, we look at, I mean, everybody says, man, you're a nice guy. Everybody notices that. But uh, nobody ever reads that as a weakness. And uh, like I say, uh, when I see all these people, I, I never look at anyone as being weak. I don't care how nice they are, they're not weak. And... Uh, what I've learned, especially in foreign countries, uh, if this person is really nice and really weak, weak appearance, uh, uh, I mean, they, they could even be uh, a handicap. You know, I mean, they, you know, they're in a wheelchair. I mean, they could be all kinds of. Believe me, they know people <laughs> that aren't handicapped <laughs> and these people are generous when it comes to helping uh, others and 
Uh, so it's kind of funny because in the United States it's not quite like that. Uh, that's where gangs come from. Uh, gangs are, are weak people. They they come together and as a herd, uh, you know, or uh, let's see, what do you what do you call it? Uh, you know, like a well, like a gang, you know. Uh, uh, like a, a group of dogs or, or something like that. You know, they're more vicious when they're all together. Well, that, that's that's a, a weak. That shows your weakness. <laughs> so, and uh, so, it's really odd when uh, I'm experiencing this all all this stuff because they don't they don't see. I mean, other than um. Uh, that's why when I when I first got here, one of the things when I first got here, uh, like I say I'm out here by myself, and uh, I'm in a strange environment. I don't know nothing. I don't know anything. And like I say I was, uh, it was apparent that I was armed, and um, it. Uh, the ones that saw it thought, well, he's some crazy old guy. And because the same thing, right? The same thing. They don't understand uh, the environments that I travel and the kind of people that I associate with, uh, whether I want to or not. <laughs> you know, so. Uh, but uh, the, the, what I'm trying to say is. And this is something that really needs to happen in the United States also. Uh, there are weak. And those weak people need to be looked, looked, looked over. I mean, um, watched over uh, by those that aren't weak. <laughs> you know, so. Uh, and in the United States, it's, it's a little tougher. Uh, I haven't quite figured it out yet. Uh, uh, my my strength draws me towards other strong people, and uh, it's the same thing. The strong people are drawn to me. Now, now when I say strong, it's not necessarily when, when I say strong and weak. I'm, it's not necessarily uh, the physical. That's just one one thing, and. Um, uh, that's why, when I, you know, as far as I know, I'm the only one that I've ever come across that gives away uh, gold and silver and, and pretty things. And uh, so, and once they get this, once I give them this, it's a bribe afterwards. I bribe kind of differently. And after that, even though I may not ever see them ever again, uh, just automatically, they don't see me as a... Uh, Financially weak. These people give away gold and silver. Can't be that weak. And so, and yes, it's not that much. But, you know, how much gold and silver have you given away? And uh, so, that's how I make my statement. This is one of my tactics. I say, this is something I've been working on um, most of my life. Learning how to be nice to others. Why? Because I serve others. This is what I do. Uh, and I serve others through the Hoi Chi, helping people take away pain, improve their, their health. Or um, if I say the, the person in the wheelchair, he knows people that does things. And so that's why you don't Look down on weak people. You don't do that. And a lot of times they've been looked down on. That's why they, they've they learned to act that way. But And the same thing for you. You don't want to act weak. Because they'll take advantage of you. People take advantage of you. And we're, now we're right back to the givers and the takers kind of thing. I've talked about that. And uh, like I say, uh, the, the takers look for weak people. People, and that's what I'm saying. So that's why, for me, this has been tough. <laughs> you know, I mean, God, he's an old man. He's a weak old man. <laughs> you know, so this—I don't have people trying to take advantage of me that often. 
And when they do, they know what I'm capable of and what I do. So then uh, they don't take advantage of me kind of like they take advantage of other people. Uh, they, they say that's where the gangs and stuff come from. But anyway, I just thought I'd bring that to your attention. Uh, don't appear weak. And, uh, but there's always going to be people that are going to look at you and say you're weak and try to take advantage of you. Just Mike. No stress, Mike. Dot com.